in this video we are going to look at how to identify one size of cable from another so for instance if i have a lot of cables put together how would i know this is 1.5 how would i know this is 2.5 so here you can see different sizes of cables now there are a few ways that one can be able to identify which of these cables is 16 millimeters squared and which of them is 1.5 millimeters squared and which of them is 10 millimeters squared one way that a person can do that is by experience if an electrician has been using these different types of cables over and over again looking at a size he can tell if it is actually 1.5 or 2.5 now there is another simple way that you can also use to identify a cable. Most of the time, manufacturers write the size of cables on the cables. So here, if you look around it carefully, it is stated amongst other things that this is one by 1.50 millimeter squared. And then even the standard to which this conforms is also stated on it. The same way when we take the second one, sometimes the writing may not show properly, but if you look carefully, you see it stated on it. So you look carefully around the cable. For instance, with this one, it's also stated on it, the range of voltage that it can work with, 450 to 750 volts. And then the standard to which it conforms is also stated on it. And then it is also stated that it is 10 millimeter squared. This is a multi-core cable. You see three core by 2.50 square millimeter. So this means this is 2.5 millimeter squared cable by three. So there are three of them. And it can work on up to 500 volts. It is also stated on it amongst other important information. So that is the simplest way that you can identify the size of a particular cable. And then most of the time, when you are buying the cables, the sizes are written on them. On the packaging, you normally see the size of the cable and the type of material that is used for the insulation. And then some other important information. Otherwise, you would have to consult an experienced electrician to help you find out what the size actually is now mostly the cables that you may not find the sizes stated on them are actually the individual wires in a multi-core cable so for instance for this cable every information is on the overall cable itself but on the individual cables you will not see any information written on them so if i remove a piece of these wires you may not see any information on that individual core or that individual piece. All right. So in identifying the size of cable, these are the most simple ways that you can use to identify the size of a particular cable. Then we come to the main issue. So what size among the various sizes of cables should I use for my lighting circuit? Should I use for my power circuit? Should I use for my cooker? Should I use for my whatever? Well, I believe I have said something useful in this video. And if you have really learned something new, let me know at the comment section. And please kindly do well to share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified anytime I post a new video. Thank you very much again. See you in my next video.